occupy. Follow me here. How about Adam and Eve? One of the things that was an aspect of the curse of Adam and Eve is that they were driven out of the garden. That was part of the curse, being driven out of the place where God's blessing was. Place is important. How about in the flood? Who got blessed and who got cursed? If you were in the boat, you, you, you were safe. If you were out of the boat, you were dead. How about coming to Egypt during the great famine that swept through that area? And Joseph was put upon the throne. They didn't dispatch corn away unto, unto areas. You had to come to Egypt. You were going to get it. Was it important to get to Egypt? Well, if you wanted to survive, yeah. Is places, are places important? Indeed they are. How about at the Mount of Transfiguration? Peter recorded that event. Only three men saw Jesus transfigured that night. Peter recording this says we were on the Holy Mount. They saw it because of where they were. Yes. You follow me here? Yes. How about, brethren, being in the assembly where God commands the blessing? Huh? Doesn't matter what church you go to? Is that so? It doesn't say God commands the blessing in any place. He commands it in the place where brethren dwell together in unity. That's where he commands the blessing. Important to be in the right place? Yes, brethren, you want to be in the assembly where God's commanding the blessing. Amen. How about the book of Revelation? You know why we got that book? Well, we got it because of God, but... It's because John was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Now we're ascending earthly places. He was in the Spirit, brethren, on the Lord's day. Some people I know, if it was charged for them for us to get the book of Revelation, we'd have never got it because of where they occupy. But John made a point to think on things above, and because he was blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places, God gave him the book of Revelation. And we all get blessed because he's in the right, he was in the right place at the right time. Amen. Now, brethren, there are essentially only two places. There is heaven and there is earth. One place is a place of blessing, and the other place is a place of cursing. If you are in the earth, you are going to perish. If you occupy heavenly places, you are going to be blessed. Amen. There are two personalities that are in these places. Jesus has been exalted to heavenly places, and when he went up there, Satan was cast down to where? The earth. Do you remember what he pronounced in the book of Revelation? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, where they make their habitation. Brethren, it is a dangerous thing to be occupying the environment where Satan is invincible. He can't lose in earth, but don't forget Jesus can't lose in heaven. Well, you understand, Jesus rules on earth. I understand that. I understand that Satan's a minister of God. He can't do it unless God tells him. But brethren, here is the way God is weeding out people that really aren't serious about heavenly places. If they occupy earth, God will see to it that they are deceived. And Satan will take him captive at his will. But if they stay where God put them when he saved them. You remember that uh, in the book of Jude, that exhortation about the angels that were reserved in everlasting chains and darkness? Why? Because they left their first state. Brother, my message to you tonight is simply this. Don't leave the place where God puts you when he saves you. He raised you up and made you to sit in the heavenly places in Christ. And that's my last thing I want to leave you with. In Christ. This renewal is about the indispensability of Christ. What are we saying by saying that? Well, I think we're at least generally saying that we are accepted in heavenly places. We are accepted there 
in the blood, which he goes on to say in, the, in Ephesians chapter 1. But more than that, Jesus is the one dispensing the blessing, and that's not just automatic. We are in the heavenly places in Christ. Now, here's the point, that everything God has given to man in salvation, he has deposited in Christ Jesus. And you obtain it by being in Christ Jesus. That's how you get access to it. It's in Christ Jesus. So what's the issue, brethren? If Jesus has ascended into heavenly places and he's dispensing the blessing there, that's where I want to be. Amen. And brethren, if you occupy those places, Jesus will see to it that you are indeed blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, brethren. Amen.